In the following two videos, we're going to be defining acids and bases. Now, there's several definitions. There's the Arrhenius model, there's the Bronsted and Lowry model, and then there's also the Lewis model of acids and bases. Um, the Lewis model, you'll probably learn about that in AP Chem. Um, so here, we're just going to focus on the Arrhenius model and the Bronsted and Lowry model. First, we have the Arrhenius model. Arrhenius stated that an acid is a substance that releases hydrogen ions in water. So you may recognize HCl as hydrochloric acid. You know it's an acid, and it's an acid because when it's dissolved in water, it releases a hydrogen ion. And this here is a hydrogen ion. So this is something you're probably um, familiar with on some level already. Arrhenius defined a base as a substance that releases hydroxide ions in water. A classic example of a base is sodium hydroxide. Remember that this is hydroxide. Um, this usually exists as a solid. It's a white powder. And when you dissolve it in water to make it aqueous, it will release hydroxide ion. So anytime you see hydrogen ion, try to associate that with an acid. Anytime you see a hydroxide ion, Think about a base. Now, Arrhenius model of acids and bases, that's an older model. And it turns out it's not, it's not as inclusive um, as the Bronsted and Lowry model. The Arrhenius model limits us to acids that are in aqueous solution. Um, and it also fails to include some acids and bases. For instance, um, do you remember the name of this? This is ammonia. We've looked at it several times this year already. And you know that ammonia is a base. However, it does not contain hydroxide ions. You don't see any OHs here in ammonia, but yet it's still a base. So what was needed was another definition of acids and bases, one that was broader and more inclusive, and that's the Bronsted and Lowry model. And in the next video, we'll look at Bronsted and Lowry acids and bases.